no matter what stitch technique you use, you'll always have a seam on your work. Even if you use your stitch as a turning chain like this one, you'll notice the seam going down your work. Or if you use the chain as the height of your stitch, you'll still notice a seam going down your work. But with the invisible slip stitch, you will not be able to tell exactly where your seam is. See, right here would be your seam. Can you see it? And also on this one, can you find where the seam is? So now I want to teach you how to do this technique. This technique works with any height crochet stitch. Make sure you have a stitch marker to help you along your way. So to begin, we're going to pull our loop long. This always happens at the end of your work. Instead of slip stitching into that first double crochet, we're going to slip stitch into that second double crochet. Instead of going into the front, we're going to place our hook through the back of your work under both stitches. And when you do this, make sure this yarn is behind your work. That's very important. Turn your work around, stick that hook through the loop and pull. This loop is going to act as your very first stitch. You might not understand yet, but be patient and we're going to make our way around. So don't skip off this section. Now we're just going to chain two as usual to bring to the height of a double crochet and double crochet back into that same stitch. Okay, now I'm going to place a stitch marker at the very beginning of this row so I remember exactly where it is. Like I said, please don't skip off of this video yet. I want you to continue placing double crochets all the way around. And I'm going to show you where to work your very last double crochet to complete this invisible join. We've made it back around and we've made it to the very last stitch. This last stitch is actually that very first loop. This one, pull it long. So this is what we're going to be working into as that very last stitch. So I'll show you one more time. Here we go. We'll place that double crochet into that very last stitch, which is actually the very long loop. And that is it. And that creates your invisible join. I'll show you one more time. You'll pull that loop long, place your work behind you. We're going to go into the second double crochet. Here's the first, second, through the back. Take that loop and pull it. And that loop right here will act as the very last stitch of the row. What's going on here? You're actually pushing back all those chain two stitches. And this is what it looks like on a reverse side. The front and the reverse. And that is how you do an invisible join.